A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort. Give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain, the rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up onto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good when the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of His mercy, He saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom He richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that we might be justified by His grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The people were filled with expectation and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. After all the people had been baptized and Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove and a voice came from heaven. You are my beloved son. With you, I am well pleased.